going? Welcome to my video. So, this video is on my car having issues. Um, it's a weird thing to me anyway because um, it's not cranking and it's not starting, but it's getting all the powers. I don't think I left this car, the lights on, on this car overnight. I mean, the battery seems to be good. But um, I, you know, can't... I parked it overnight last night. I'm pretty sure I checked everything to make sure that um, everything was off before I left it. Um, and woke up this morning, got into my car, turned it, turned the key, and uh, all I got was uh, a click. It was just one click, um, which really sucks. Um, considering, all right, so here's what I did so far. All right, I checked the battery. I thought maybe it was the battery was that was dead, but I don't think it's the battery considering uh, if the battery was dead, nothing else would be working. But just in case, I actually did try to jump it with a power pack and it just clicked. Did the same thing, nothing else uh, happened, just clicked. Um, everything else seems to be working. The radio works fine. The um, vents work fine. Heat fine. Um, obviously, the AC is not going to turn on. But everything else seems to be fine uh, in this car, including the alarm. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I, you know, it could be at this point. It could be the fuses. It could be the relay. It could be the starter. But um, I did get the starter changed out like a while ago, like not a while ago, but you know last year. So I'm hoping it's not the starter that's the issue. It would be a, an absolute pain if it is the starter that's the issue because I'd have to go and buy another starter and try to get it to work, etc., etc. It's you know something that I don't want to redo, and uh, I don't think I bought a brand new starter. The starter I bought was a rebuilt starter. From a, from a shop, it was rebuilt, um, and uh, I've heard so many stories about these rebuilt starters that you know, remanufactured starters that they actually just fix one single component, uh, and uh, they leave all the components alone and stuff like that. But um, it's amazing to me that they actually rebuilt these things, considering they want the core back, and the core looks like crap when you bring it in, for the most part. But regardless, um, I did test the fuses. Um, all the fuses seem to be okay. There was nothing off about any of the lights on the dash. It doesn't seem off, you know. Uh, a lot of cases, if there's a fuse that's the issue, you would still get a, at least a crank, but it just wouldn't start up. And uh, if there was a dead fuse somewhere, normally, um, in these scenarios, you would have no lights at all on your car, no lights lighting up, nothing like that, <sighs> nothing working. But that's not the case here, unfortunately. I was hoping it'd be a simple fix. Now, I had considered it to be the relay. It, it could be the relay that's causing it, but I do hear a click, so that's pretty much a solenoid firing off. And uh, I'm told that you have this, if you have the, re, have the solenoid firing off on the car. Uh, on the starter, you can hear solenoid click or some clicking sounds. I mean, not cranking sounds, but clicking sounds. If you can hear some uh, clicking sounds, at least one click, or if it's firing off, like click, 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 something like that. I mean, something like that. It could be like a weak, it could be um, a weak battery, or it could be, or, or it could be your uh, starter that's dead, because if your relay was really dead, uh, just relate to the starter was dead. You wouldn't be able to. You really wouldn't be able to hear anything coming from the car. Now here's the thing about it. Um, I did get out of this car. I did try to bump it. Like uh, if you guys know that trick, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, if you hit the starter motor a couple of times, um, you know, with some uh, a crowbar or whatever and uh, try to start afterwards but it would probably work better if you try to hit it while somebody's 
um, you know, try and turn it on. Um, but, but, uh, nothing happened. So I'm going to assume that the starter is dead. Um, now this issue, um, funny thing is I had an issue like this, um, couple months back. I had an issue like this a couple months back and, uh, you know, I was eventually able to start it and, and, uh, it hasn't occurred since I believe what I did was I took it off the, I took one of the posts off the battery, put it back on and, uh, did a couple of things that I don't remember because it was like six months ago. I said a couple of months, six months ago. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, it was, it's been doing this sporadically. And the thing about it is that, um, you know, when it did happen sporadically, I did knock the starter with, you know, you know, a long crowbar, and um, you know, it, it it did start every single time. Now, this didn't happen all the time. It happened every once in a while, every once in a while, maybe like once a month, really sporadic. Um, I don't know what the what the deal was with it. Don't know what the deal was was with it. But it would start up every single time. It didn't start up this morning. So now we're going to have to um, probably take a look at uh, getting a starter and putting it in. Here's the deal. Um, so basically, with me trying to figure out what the issue is, um, I had to figure out whether it was a crank or no crank scenario. This is a no crank, no start scenario. If it was cranking, uh, the starter would be fine. And it could be a couple other things like a fuse, the, the fuel pump, um, you know, a relay or whatever. Maybe I've had that happen where a relay needed to be, to be taken out and cleaned and put back in. Had that happened before. Um, this situation is an absolute no start whatsoever. Now, I did use a power pack for it, and the power pack that I bought uh, was from Walmart. It's rated for, you know, four cylinders. I don't know if it's powerful enough to get this car started. I don't know if it's powerful enough to get this car cranking. But it was fully charged, all right? And on a fully charged pack like that, if it wasn't even able to get this car started, I should have been able to just turn the key and then hear a slow crank or something like that. You know, a, a no crank scenario, I mean, I wasn't even hearing uh, multiple clicks. If you were, if, if I heard multiple clicks, um, like click, 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 you know, it, it would, it would be like the, um, you know, it would be at least I would, I would have an assumption that, you know, I would, I could be able to start it if I did, uh, jump it. Right, not the case here. Wasn't able to, um, you know. I, I heard one click, and it was a faint click, but I, I, I heard one click. Uh, and um, you know what? Just to be sure, anyway. I mean, I already test out the fuses. I, uh, you know, everything else seems to be working fine. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy either a battery meter and see what where the uh, battery is at right now um, Or I'm gonna try to get a jump uh, Probably gonna try to get a jump from somebody. Hopefully it turns over now. I know uh, There might be other you know, I know that uh, You know being in this situation if you don't know anything about cars you might think well, how come it's not the alternator? Here's the thing is that here's the thing why it's not the alternator. Um, it's not the alternator, probably. Um, I'm just going to assume it's not the alternator because, um, no, it's not even an assumption. I know it's not the alternator, all right? Uh, because uh, normally when the alternator goes out, it goes out on you while you are driving or at least have the car on the engine running. Uh, reason being is that the battery. Um, you know, the battery and starter starts up the car, the alternator charges, you know, all the components on the car. All right. So if your alternator, if my, if my alternator was dead to begin with and everything was, uh, was well, was okay, I still would be able to actually start this car up. 
but uh, the, it's not the alternator because this car did not die while it was running. Now, in a rare case where, you know, I, I could have had a, uh, an alternator that was going out and I drove on a dead alternator all the way to my house and uh, the battery just died on the spot as I parked it. But here's the thing about it. I, I checked my headlights. I checked my headlights and my headlights, the, the beams are strong. My high beam is strong. Um, you know, you know, the, it's, I'm pretty sure, definitely sure it's not the alternator. It could either be um, an absolutely dead battery or uh, it was the starter um, that was, um, that that's just dead, which is unfortunate considering I don't think I put uh, any more than a couple, about 10, 20, I'm going to say like maybe 25,000 miles on the starter before it died on me. Uh, next starter I'm going to get, I'm going to definitely get um, a, uh, a, a, a starter from the junkyard off of eBay, an OEMU starter or whatever, because uh, I've had so many issues with remanufactured parts, rebuilt parts, uh, had issues with, with a rebuilt alternator, um, and this is a rebuilt starter, all right? I had like two alternators that I had to change up before I had, before I got this one in my car, and this one is one from the junkyard and this lasted me longer than the other two rebuilt uh, alternators this starter is a uh manuf remanufactured rebuilt starter and uh you know uh, if it is the starter that's that went out on me i will definitely definitely buy uh a used one from ebay uh preferably an oem uh, uh starter um you know but uh that's the way it is uh, with uh, these situations. All right, guys. So it's the next morning. Uh, I am now in my car, and it does start. Um, I was able to get a jump yesterday and uh, try to get it jumped. Nothing worked. Everything was the same. Just one click. Nothing else besides that one click. And, uh, you know... At that point, I knew that it was the starter. It couldn't be anything else other than the starter. So I had to buy a starter from eBay. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of these junkyards actually list their stuff on eBay and uh, picked it up from a junkyard that was listing it the same day, put it in, and it starts up. So it was the starter that was the issue. Um, so, you know, good stuff considering, uh, you know, things could be worse, but it was the starter. Didn't need to figure much out after that. The car drives fine. Not a problem. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any comments about this video, please leave your comments in the comment section. Please give me a thumbs up and please definitely subscribe. Uh, for more videos, guys, all right? I'm constantly putting videos up about my car, cars that I'm fixing, etc., etc. All right, guys, take care.